we're back with we with again. the movie we actually saw recently. Yes, <laughs> the nice guys. The nice guys. Um, I knew nothing about this movie going into it. I saw uh, some of the trailers. It looked entertaining, so I figured, what the hell? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised I haven't seen a trailer for it. Like, I probably think we not had it, some of the some of the films we went to, but they were just so possibly, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I you just called me and said we're gonna go see. Yeah, like, you're interested in seeing this movie because it's Saturday night and I don't feel like staying home. I have nothing better to do on a Saturday night. Yes. <laughs> All right, so, um, it was really funny. It was. It, it was, was very, very funny. funny. It was, um, uh, it was Russell Crowe and, um, Ryan Gosling, Ryan Gosling as, uh, as, uh, detectives trying to solve a porn mystery. Yes. <laughs> You know what it kind of reminded me of? Uh, I hate, it's kind of a bad thing to bring up, but... Uh, What's that? Do you remember a, a show uh, Adult Swim used to show called Stroker and Hoop? Yes. Yeah, it kind of... Oh, rem- God, you're it right. It kind of reminded me of that of Stroker little bit. and Hoop. <laughs> you're like, right. Two kind of... Uh, well, not not two incompetent, one incompetent... One incompetent uh, alcoholic yeah, detective. Yeah, and the other one is Russell Crowe punching people. Yeah, he just beats people <laughs> up for money. <laughs> fighting around the world. Yeah, or in this case, <laughs> fighting around Los Angeles. <laughs> making movies, making songs, and fighting around, around the, the world. world. Yep. <laughs> Come at me, your vagina! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Russell Crowe! <laughs> but anyway... Yeah, actually, he was he was very good in this movie. Y- yes, he was. He was great. Yeah. Uh, well, they were both great, too. Like, um... Even uh, even Ryan Gosling's daughter was really good. Yes, and, uh, and, Penny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You brought it up because yeah. basically their relationship was Inspector Gadget. Yeah, her name actually wasn't Penny; it was Holly. <laughs> I but know. Their their relationship <laughs> she, is that she was she was basically Penny because she was a more competent investigator than than he was. Yeah, yeah basically, his do- uh, Ryan Gosling's daughter was Penny. Ryan Gosling himself was Inspector Gadget, and Russell Crowe was Brain. <laughs> Where's that gritty reboot? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think that was Heat Guy J. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. Anime. Yeah. Oh, oh, why'd you remind me of that? Just saying. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember anything about that anime. Neither do I. <laughs> we should riff on it. We should. <laughs> I remember MTV showed it. Like wow. that, that was like the one anime they ever showed, because it was during like the... Uh, the, the mid-2000s craze where every single network was trying to get anime. It's where an anime was and, edge, man. And, and MTV got the one anime nobody wanted, apparently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she just stuck to Ultra City 6060. But, uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting sidetracked. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this movie was... Uh, it was funny. It had, like... Um, I, I was saying it had, like, a super bad feel to it because... It, yeah, I, I, Kind of like that same back and forth style, that jokey, yeah. you know, kind of awkward and quirky like uh, dialogue going back and forth. Um, yeah, essentially, it, it was a neo noir detective film, but yeah. a lot of the tropes got deconstructed in the movie. Like, there's one scene where um, Gosling breaks into and tries to break into an establishment to get evidence. And uh, he ends up, like, cutting his wrist open on the glass, and he's just like, oh, God, oh, God. And then immediately the next scene is him in an ambulance. Yes. <laughs> it's like, we're oh, losing him! Calm okay. down, sir, you're going to be fine. And he's just freaking out. Yes. <laughs> there, was this, there was a scene where um, uh, he was fighting this one guy on a roof, and they both fell off. Yeah. And, and he... He, the guy landed on the ground, and he landed in a pool. Yes. And then he met up with Russell Crowe's character. He's like, how'd you get down here? You fell off the roof, didn't you? He's like, it's amazing. I think I'm indestructible. (laughs) 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 But yeah, the the jokes in this movie were actually really, really funny. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was a a good movie to invest in, too. I I felt... um, I felt really, uh, I felt really into the story. Yeah. Uh, even though they kind of screwed everything up. They did, they really did. <laughs> Spoilers. Basically, the girl they were looking for gets killed. Yes. <laughs> accidentally. Yes. <laughs> by John Boy. John Boy. <laughs> God. Not the one from the Waltons. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure that's who he's modeled after. Probably. Which is very funny and ironic. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so the whole film takes place in 1977. They're looking for this chick, Amelia. Yeah. Who's like this runaway who apparently did a porn film. 
Yeah, like she, everybody who worked in this porn film just started dying. But the porn film was like supposed has some kind of message in it that was uh, yeah supposed to bring down corrupt uh, politicians who are polluting the air. Some, yeah, automakers. Some, some hippie bullcrap like that. You could never it, take take Detroit down, man. Yeah. No. It, it was Detroit took itself out. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just watch RoboCop. Oh God, yes. <laughs> anyway. Um, it was funny because, like, a lot of the stuff that was happening in this movie, like, I, I didn't know whose side to take here because, um, like, okay, like, this girl, like, all these guys were after her, they're trying to kill her, but then when they were, like, questioning her about it, like, why why are you doing this? Yeah. Why are you against your mom who is, like, uh, what, what was her mom? The, uh, she, she was, like... Uh, head of the Justice Department. Yeah, head of the, she was in charge yeah. of the... The lawsuit that was against going on with the automakers, yeah, yeah. and yeah, she's the, being bribed apparently. But when she was when she was being questioned about it, she just she was just like a complete lunatic. Yeah, she was just like they're trying to take us down, man. Yeah. And it's got to the point where it's like I can't believe this person. I can't. Yeah, they're they're not. But I think that's a sign of a good, you know, noir mystery film when you're like yeah. you can't trust anybody. Yeah, everybody's suspect. Yeah. So <laughs> even uh, the person you might least suspect is, uh, yeah, <laughs> like that one that one girl, the, the the her mom's assistant. Oh yeah, turned yeah, out yeah. To be one of the bigger bad guys. One of the bigger bad guys <laughs> in the movie. Exactly. She tried to set them up. Yes. And uh, then Ryan Gosling was like, "No, you're not like this." And and, and uh, Russell Crowe's like, "She just told us she killed, killed three people." people. <laughs> it's like, no, you're not a murderer. I mean, like, I mean deep, it deep down. Deep down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best for me was the fucking dying. The we can't talk to you. We're dead. No. <laughs> that whole thing. Yeah, okay, so uh, when they were looking for the girl, they were, they were after. They went to this protest, <laughs> and it was a bunch of freaking hippies doing one of those like dead people on the street yeah, protests. Yeah, just lying still. And they were trying to like like look for somebody. Who goes, we can't talk to you. We're dead. And she's like, no, you're not. You're 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 not literally dead. She's in here somewhere. <laughs> like this what, is her protest group. Yeah. What what killed you? Like it's the air, man. And some of them were wearing like gas, gas masks. masks. And they're like, you have gas masks. That didn't help. That didn't help you at all. It's like and the guy was looking at him like. That whole scene. Which one of you cock and balls wants to make 20 bucks? <laughs> one guy raises his hand. Yeah. It was... It, uh, uh, the whole movie was great. There's a lot of lot of fun little moments like that. Yes, exactly. It's, it's one of those movies where, like, a lot of stuff happens, but um, ultimately nothing really gets accomplished. Not really, it's, it, no. Yeah, because uh, it's, it's like The Big Lebowski or... Um, yeah. Or Burn After Reading, which is a, a, a comedy that people have forgotten about. Yeah. I, I hate that because it was hilarious. It was. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so it was one of those kinds of, one of those kinds of movies. Um, let's see, what else, what else was there? Um, they did a good job, uh, like, even though it was a comedy, they did a good job, you know, like, humanizing, uh, yeah, all the Ryan, characters. Ryan Gosling's character, because it was, it was basically him and his daughter, and their their house burnt down, and they yeah. were trying to they were trying to rebuild their house. Mm. Um, yeah, she keeps reading in a vacant yeah. lot that was their house. And yeah, yeah, very good. Um, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say about it. It was just yeah. It was just there were a it, lot of twists and turns. And yeah, it, uh, it played out like a standard you know detective film, but again, there was yeah. a lot of tropes that kind of landed on their heads. Yeah, <laughs> like Gosling would stumble upon. Various clues and actual dead bodies. At one point, he actually stumbles upon a corpse <laughs> at the party at the party. where they got Earth, Wind, and Fire to perform. Yes, which I, which blew my mind. It's like, oh my god! How did I <laughs> you yeah, exactly. <laughs> was that actually them too? I don't think it was. If it was, it was very good season. Yeah, or because they look like they did back then. Or good, uh, or good doppelgangers, or good either people that or in their place. effective use of stock footage. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who knows. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I went in knowing nothing about it and yeah, it was definitely it's... a good watch. Mm -hmm. I like, I saw, I remember seeing the trailers and thinking, Hey, 
this looks pretty good, and then I saw the reviews come out, and it got a 91 on Rotten Tomatoes, so I'm yeah. like, hey, this seems like a safe bet. Yeah, I think that's what you told me when yeah, I Yeah, both the critics it. and the audience reactions were about equal, so, yeah. you know what? Yeah. None of this Batman v Superman, you know, oh, well, the critics all hated it, but the audience <laughs> liked the cool for, shit. Uh, can we stop bringing that up, please? <laughs> No, I will keep bringing it back, only to kill it yet again. Oh, it'll never go away. Like the entire vampire it'll, genre, it'll, I will keep staking it in the heart. It will never leave, it will never leave. It will never leave. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so The Nice Guys was really good. Yes, um, definitely give it a watch. Yep, go check it out. Uh, and let's go start our own uh, detective agency. Yes. <laughs> Instead of the nice guys, we'll be the okay guys. <laughs> How about one nice guy and one jerk off? That works too. That's okay. a good. That's a good dynamic. Let's I do can, that. I can work right. with that. So, uh, we'll see you later. Yep, we're gonna get some clients. <laughs>